What's up everyone? I want to show you a really quick trick that's going to help you a ton in hard surface and it's when you're using curves kind of like this, right? Um, I just have this curve. I'm working on a robot. Uh, we have a big, big project coming soon. A lot of people have been asking for this. You're going to be excited. Not going to announce it for maybe a week or two though, so hold tight for that. Anyways, you might have a curve like this, right? And you want to get the curve looking cooler so you can make a design like this to make it look more sci-fi or decent looking. This is a super super easy effect. A lot of people overcomplicate it. I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. And also, don't yell at me about these artifacts here. I promise you I'm going to clean them up. Not on this video, but um, I just I just haven't cleaned them up yet. Anyways, so I'm going to hide this and just do it again from scratch, right? So uh, let me make sure I take note of the name of this, Cylinder 21. Okay. So you have a curve here, right? Let's just pretend your curve's already made and you want to make a cool design on it. So what we do first is we just ignore the curve, pretend it's not there, and let's make the piece we want to go along that curve. So in this case, what I'm going to do is take a cylinder. We'll move the cylinder over, you know, decent amount of vertices, like 64. So what you could do is just make this design. I'm just going to do this really quick from scratch, right? Make whatever type of design you want to go along the curve. So maybe I'll bevel this, drop in a loop up here, extrude it along the normals a bit, and Blender crashed on me. And rest in peace, I didn't save this design, but you know what, maybe it was the calling from God himself saying, you know, you're just going to get a better design as a result of this video, so let's just restart it. Yeah, where were we? So, you know, you make your design, bevel, bevel the top and bottom, control B. I'm just going to do this really fast, maybe you know, extrude along the normals here. Not too bad. I'll even drop on a bevel just to get that nice reflection. We'll get in here, drop in another loop, go up here and um, make like a curve of some sort. Go in here. I'm just trying to make this as fast as possible for the video. All you're doing is making the same type of design, but just your own style. And I'll just bridge these edge loops and what could I do last? Maybe two of these guys, scale them up, bevel them, extrude along the normals, and let's drop the bevel a bit. Okay, now we can call it a day. So let me just join these two things together. I'll convert this to a mesh, join it together, and maybe as like a final design, I'll just run an inset inset boolean through the top. Okay, we did this really, really quick. And you don't need hard ops, you know, you can make your own designs outside of hard ops if you prefer. But uh, yeah, let's pretend you now have your design that you want to go along a curve. First thing I like to do is make sure there's a hole on the top and bottom to go along the curve itself, so I almost always just inset the tops and bottoms, extrude along the individual faces, extrude them in, so now you can kind of imagine the pipes going into this. And now what we want to do is just kind of get this up here near the area we want to make this go along. Now there's two different ways to do it. One's the easy route, which is with uh, hard ops, and two's the harder route, which is in vanilla. I'll show you both. Kind of makes me sad when people call me money hungry, but in like every video I, I showcase, <laughs> I literally showcase vanilla. It's just hard ops is easier, right? I'm not trying to go get a ton of affiliate sales. I'm just trying to show you the most practical way. Anyways, most of you guys are cool, so thank you. Uh, what we're going to do is, I'll show you the vanilla way first, so what we need to do is first of all add a curve modifier to this guy. So we're going to go to add modifier and then curve, and the curve object is going to be whatever your, um, your actual curve is, right? In this case it's this pipe here. So I just go in here, uh, put it there, and sometimes you have to change the deform axis to something different. I'll just have to find it. You can mess around with these different axes. So it looks like the Z axis is the right one. Okay, so now you have it appended to the curve in the right orientation, right? Now if you want it to stretch or compress, all you need to do is do that in edit mode. You just go in here and scale it up or down. Now if you want to see the effect in, in the um, on the curve as well, you just click on this little button right here and you can see it. You can now see the changes taking effect. So I'm just going to scale this on the Z a little bit. And if you want to move it along the curve, you just go into edit mode and move it up or down. Pretty straightforward. Now the real killer here comes when you actually add an array modifier to this. Now let me first scale this down a bit so it fits better. 
And then what we're going to do is go here and add an array modifier. But we want to put the array modifier above the curve so that way it does the array and then the curve at the end. So that way it doesn't terminate the curve and then just do a static array. So make sure the array is before the curve. And then all you need to do is match the axis for the array. In this case, the deform axis is Z for me. So we're going to change this to Z in the array. So super simple. Now we just increase the curve count and this thing goes all the way along the curve. Super cool stuff. And uh, you can make any sort of adjustments you want in edit mode as long as you don't apply the modifiers. I could go in here and like scale up these verts and do really whatever I want. You can change this at any point in time and it will change every single piece along this curve here. And I'm just going to quickly show you how you do this in hard ops. It's just like a one click type of thing. So I'm just going to remove these. So here we have this piece. So what you do is you select your piece, you shift click on your curve, then you press Q and then click curve modifier and you're basically done. Uh, super easy stuff. And then you just do the same exact thing. You go in here, add an array modifier, and then you're going to have to put the array above the hops curve. Make sure it's on the right axis. In this case, we'll just do relative offset. And yeah, same exact thing. It's just kind of like a one click type of deal in, um, in hard ops. So that's how you do it in vanilla and in hard ops. Super useful tool in hard surface. Hopefully, you can utilize this and you're not super confused about curves anymore. So that's about it. I was just working on this mech and I was like, this would be a really good video idea. So um, hopefully, it helps you out in some way. Until the next video, I'll see you then.